for that one. For everything you've ever done wrong, you get the bonus off already. 2,000 years ago, so you can have a freedom in him, so you can get to know him. Burnside and Saturday Market, so we're planning on doing prophetic booths and live music, dance, all that fun stuff, and just represent Jesus to people. Yay, Jesus! So it's going to be awesome. People are going to get rocked. sensitive to where a person's at because some people we try to like jump to the next step when they're not ready for it and it actually actually smashes the seed we just planted That's right. well, i've seen that over and over again like some people are going to be ready to receive the lord some people are this is their first experience and they're gonna like have a whole mind shift so it's like they need to unpack that you know so um yeah that's okay cool all right what did you do to it um when i was in first grade, I broke my arm and the pressure yeah. and the cast that didn't want my sling wore it down. Oh, that's, that's not cool. Check this out. Father, I thank you in Jesus' name. Shoulder, you be healed right now. All pain, go, muscles be healed right now. In Jesus' name. Check it. Still, Still hurts? Okay. In Jesus' name. All pain, get out. Shoulder, be healed. Thank you, God. Holy Spirit, fill it. Thank you, God. Show you right now. Thank you, God. Yes, in Jesus' Lord. name, 100%. Just continue to pray. 
bones mend right now. Ba -da -da -ba All pain, get out. Complete restoration right now. Complete restoration. It doesn't hurt. Hey <laughs> God. 100% right now, <laughs> Jesus. More, more, more. Thank you, Father. Rotate no your cup, whatever's damaged, be healed name. right now. Shoulder be healed. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Check it. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't Hallelujah. Hurt. <laughs> so are you still feeling that tingling? <laughs> A little bit. A little bit? Let me see it again. Holy Spirit, I just asked for that tingling just to move through her body right now. So we're both in the back to align her back, her lower back, because sometimes uh, I just feel like you get pain there sometimes. So I just pray alignment in her back. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, just release more. No. No. You feel that? Oh, you shot through your back, the tingling feeling? Yeah. That, isn't that amazing? Yeah. Yeah. It, It kind of still feels the same, but I feel better. You feel better. So you're feeling this very progressive. Right? Yeah, but you know what? It's it's okay because I feel like I have your the space. Your shoulder just got healed. Yeah, that's awesome. Can you pass it on? <laughs> oh, really? That's your mom? It's sweet. Yeah. So say in Jesus' name, yes, neck be healed. Toe be healed. <laughs> All pain, get out. Yes, God, get out. Get out. Yeah. In Jesus' yes. name. Yes. Well, it feels, still feels like tight. But you know, I think the contributing factor is as I need like a spiritual reconstructive surgery on my job. Oh, okay. So I, you know, <laughs> that's where it's job. all pray, coming pray from. Pray for a brand new job. Okay. Just, Lord, we just thank you, God. Brand new job. Job be good. In Jesus' name. All pain get out. Jesus. All pain get out. All pain get out. I showed my heart. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Kind of feels like some, uh, like, Numbness. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Whoa, somebody wow, catch that lady. <laughs> Jesus. <man>. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Wow. <laughs> the joy of the Lord. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Well, it usually does all this coffee. No coffee. But it's not like really <laughs> doing all this coffee. And I mean, I just hear like a little clicking, but usually it's like this big. More, more. All <laughs> yeah. Put your brain on this side. Yeah. All coffee. Okay, now there's not any clicking. Not any wow. Amen. Say that with confidence, there's not any. Oh yeah, there's not any. <laughs> 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 and the drums over there, the drum is actually um, Jesus' name. 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 J
so some girl um, came up right, right to me and Amira. Actually, I was I was standing there by myself at first, and she came up and she just stood in front of me and didn't say a word and just stared into my eyes. And I said, "Hey," I said, uh, "God bless you." I said, um, "You know." The fact that you're here right now, that there's a reason for it, and the Lord wants to deliver you right now. And I started like prophesying over her, just like God put on my heart, like a lot of things about her. I started prophesying over and speaking life into her. And she had like a demonic spirit. She kept like licking herself, like while I was praying, and just like. And then I, I put my hands on her head and started praying like for a clarity and for all evil spirits to be lifted out of her and that uh, the Holy Spirit would fill her. And she started to all of a sudden just get this like look of like peace on her face and her, she, it felt like at first she came up because she wanted to um, disrupt things. But then after I started praying over her, I, there, you could just see this peace in her eyes. And then um, she, she actually started crying toward the end of it. And I just told her, you know, this is a day you need to make a stand for Jesus. You need to, you need to stand. This is a new encounter for you. You need to stand in what just happened. And um, this is the beginning of a new life for you. And it was just awesome. She was really like touched. Let the blood yeah. gates open. Let the priest serve by the king has been chosen. Chosen, chosen, let the flood gates open. A royal priest serve by the king has been chosen. Chosen, chosen, uh you're live and direct. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name's Ross. I just want to share with you guys how amazing and how lovely you guys are. You guys are precious. Yeah, um, I grew up on the streets in California. I was a Methodist. Uh, in all kinds of crazy stuff. Hated anything to do with Christians or God or anything. So I gave my life to Jesus. It's been amazing. That was 10 years ago. Now I live for him. I've been seeing crazy miracles. If you need healing in your body, come up. Like Jesus will heal you right now. He's alive and he loves you. He's the precious to him. And one thing I want to say is God is not mad at you. He's not angry at you. He loves you and he looks at you intensely. He's like, you're precious. You're amazing. You're worth what I paid for on the cross. The cross wasn't a revelation of your sin, but it's a revelation of your, how much you're loved and how valued you are. Because Jesus paid everything for a relationship with you. He said, look, I'm not without that one. So everything you've ever done wrong, he took upon himself already. 2,000 years ago, so you could have a freedom in him, so you could get to know him. The gospel, it's amazing, it really is good news. But Lord, I just thank you, God, for everyone walking by. Holy Spirit, come, fill him with your presence, fill him, God. I just pray, God, that you just release your joy, release your presence there, God. I just thank you, Lord. He's not talking about just a ticket to heaven, he wants a relationship. And it's a personal thing where you actually know God. It's not just a belief system, but it's an actual, tangible relationship with the living God. If you need healing in your body, come up. Jesus is a healer, really? and he's amazing. Come on, my hands on your name like that. Hallelujah. Come on, really? No. Yes, yes, yes. Me, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, that's kind of funny because Hallelujah. So Lord, I just thank you for everybody here, God. Everybody walking around. I just pray your presence tangibly, God. So you bless them. I pray that you'd enrich their life, God. And just bless them, God. Even these people walking by, thank you for crazy radical favor and finances, favor in every area of life, God. And just let them experience how loved they are, God. I just thank you for them. Hey, what happened? What happened, man? <laughs> so, yay, Jesus is amazing. If you guys need healing, seriously, come up. So, uh, Dame, we went up to this group, and Dame got a word over this girl's back, and he prayed for her, and she said it felt better. And then um, I asked if one of her legs was shorter, and then the other girl said, that actually, I have that problem. So we uh, sat her down, and she was, like, laughing, mocking at us, kind of like, like, just laughing hysterical, and then her leg grew out. 
Oh, the right one's short. In Jesus' name, bro. Right now. That's sore. <laughs> Look at, oh, oh my god, I really feel my leg. Yeah, that's right. It's coming out. Thank you, Lord. Even right now, Lord. I'm not eating. Stand and stand. Jesus, your leg out. saw that, uh -huh. I actually believe I got an interpretation for that different than what you said, but uh, do you want to hear it or? Yeah, sure. Okay, hold this. Okay. Here, let me see that tattoo again. Okay, what I saw was like, like I saw you've been through a lot of stuff. You've been through a lot of drama and a lot of trials. Oh, yeah. And it's kind of it's kind of like broken you down. But I see like through it like like there's there's a grace release where it actually transformed your life. Where you had a sudden change it, since that tattoo. Sweet. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, restored. Restored, transformed. Psalm 37. Yes. 
That's awesome. Oh, that's my soul. <laughs> that's but awesome. yeah, I, I see like like the five symbolizes grace, and it's interesting with a butterfly. It, it represents a new creation, and I feel like you've been you went through a lot of drama and a lot of stuff and a lot of trials, which is the thorns, and then. Um, <laughs> And then it's like you had an experience with God where he actually restored you and gave you life and then it's like all of a sudden it's like completely different, polar opposite from where you came from, where you are now. Oh dude, if you only then, knew <laughs> my testimony, and, you would be amazed. And I'd be I like, feel, wow. Yeah, and with these, it, it's interesting because I feel like like you, you ha have a lot of wisdom to speak into a lot of people. Like God's like giving you a lot of spiritual wisdom. Like seven means spiritual completion, but I also see like God's empowered you to be like spiritually wise and almost like you have an oversight over people. Well, you see exactly where they're at in their spiritual walk. I feel like you've been through a lot and just what you've been through and what, how you've experienced God. You could walk up to anybody and see almost just about where they're at in terms of the Lord and where they're at. And that's kind of what the eagle kind of like means it's kind of like you you get that oversight and you can also see just kind of where people are messing up and where people are like just kind of struggling and i see like you having this helping hand just kind of lift people He's up out of stuff. me to tears in a second oh. and, and i don't know i just see like and other than your tattoos like actually with the sun i feel like you you have a love for god's presence and people actually feel warmth around you they feel like like you carry god's countenance like you carry god's presence and people actually feel peace around you they feel protected around you and they feel safe around you and, and i i just see this uh protectiveness about you but you have such a warm heart that loves everybody and you try to see like the best and the worst i feel like you have that kind of eye that when somebody's going through a lot of situations or a lot of stuff you like actually see where they're at and like it's able you're able to connect with them even if they're messed up or falling or this like you judge uh no one according to the flesh and i see like um first corinthians chapter five like when love of god compels us to this we judge thus uh if one died for all then all died therefore we regard no one according to the flesh and i see that stamped on your heart where it's like you don't judge people for where they're at but you see how god made them and you want to see them lifted up and it like you believe in people you, you hope for you hope for the best and like you believe I in do. people and i don't know why i see like drug addicts like i just had a, a vision of like just coke or meth or something and it was like just people close to you like struggling with hard drugs and i see them actually like taking in what you're saying and like actually coming like it's like i just hear the word freedom and i see like uh change I, i'm having a picture of change breaking like where i feel like you've been trying pouring into like family members and friends and people close to you and trying to get them off drugs and stuff like that and I, I think that's like an area you even came from like you you've seen a lot and you know about so it's like you know where they're at but i see you actually breaking chains of addiction to people and what do you say even if it doesn't have immediate effect you actually plant such a seed so deep that they can't reject it or dig it out well that's my prayer every day is it something that i say is impactful to somebody every day if not one then many is, is that true or like what i was just saying is that, oh yeah i've yeah. come with a long line of addiction me and my husband he's sober two and a half years now after a 25 year addiction cool. yeah do you, do you have pain in your body any more lower back hips knees anything my heel i have plantar fasciitis that's not cool which heel is it that one that one reach your hand so it's in jesus name yes, plantar fasciitis get out he will be healed right now. Every bit of pain, get out in Jesus' name. How's it feeling? Check it. No pain? No. no. That was pretty cool. <laughs> was it hurting before? Yeah, it's, um, I'm supposed to stretch it and I don't, um, stretch it like, like what I'm supposed to do. And it's completely gone? <laughs> yeah, it feels good. butterflies so it's like Holy Spirit is like get her. So Lord I just thank you for I pray for godly wisdom over her God. I just thank you for her Lord. Just bless you God. Holy Spirit fill it with your presence right now. I thank you God for even just the ability to dance God and just just uh, the athletic kind of abilities but with, with artistic God. 
that you just bless her in that, God. I just thank you, Lord. And Lord, just bless her, God. I thank you, God, for loyal friends, God, that she, you've given her, God. She has more loyal friends than she realized. I'm just hearing in my heart, you've been like crazy loyal to her. Like, I just see like a loyalty on you. You're amazing, man. Jesus loves you both so much. And like, God loves that about you. And I just feel like, just Lord, bless her with wise counsel, God. And just thank you for God. I pray you bless the situations in her life, God. And Holy Spirit, fill it with your presence right now. Let her feel light. Let her feel your presence right now. Because you love her. In Jesus' name. Are you feeling that? What do you feel? Is that light? Light-headed? <laughs> yeah. What about you? I feel pretty good. good? Does, any, does any of you have any pain in your body? Like physical, like back pain, knee pain, ankle, anything? Red. No. I mean, I'm anemic, if that counts. You're what? <laughs> Let's get rid of it. In Jesus' name, we just can cancel the anemic. In Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, just heal her body, wash over, bless her. She's amazing, God. I thank you, God. She's a new creation in you. She bless you. In Jesus' name. Do you dance? I used to kind of, I just, nothing like, I know, I'm a mirror dancer. Yeah. <laughs> I dance in the mirror, I'm so shy. Yeah, because when I was praying, I feel like God's given you like, like a way to like express yourself and like, when you're worshiping the Lord, start dancing. You're going to start experiencing His presence like never before. And you know the Lord, like I see that, like just look into your eyes, I can see Jesus in you. So the girl with the blue hair that we were praying over, I got to pray over her friend, Brooke, that was standing there. She actually left early, and I said, Brooke, wait, wait, and I chased her down, and I was like, hey, the Lord just put on my heart that you really have a counselor's heart. You, you're able to really speak into people's hearts and um, really give them clarity over decisions that they're making and direction that they're going, and I said that um, I just feel like her words carried a weight and a grace to them where um, she, when she speaks into people's lives, they really hear what she's saying and it really causes change in them, for them. And, um, yeah, it was just really cool. She, I got just a few other words over her. Everything was good in the Garden of Eden. Now there's boys going on outside the bleeder. Since the very start, since been the reason. But Christ came that we may have life in his kingdom. I was locked in chains like I was restrained. I was feeling the pain of freedom. But then the Christ he came and he washed the claim. Now we claim the king. We got freedom. <laughs> Anybody want Does freedom? Any of you guys have any pain Come over body? here, we'll pray with you. Pain. pain. Like God has saved me, he's given me true yeah. freedom. I used to be using drugs. Your knees? I used to, you know, awesome. be stealing me, from my kids, stealing from my mom okay. and my dad. Jesus I was name, never home. Right now. I was uh all pain. Get out. I was just out and about all the time and when I was home I was fighting with Which my family. Both. Sometimes physically. Jesus. Um, Jesus. Uh, mentally I wasn't all there. Yes, and I was whenever I would be home I'd be lying about no, uh, no, I'm not high, mom. Like, and then I start cussing at her, and it's like I had this sin that was just overtaking my life. It was just like holding me captive. And then uh, God just started to come into my life through a youth group and through going to church and stuff. And He just started showing me His love, you know. And, and Jesus just started showing up in my life, and He started breaking my chains, you know, uh, little by little. It was almost like a chisel type thing going on. And, uh, and now I'm experiencing true freedom in the Lord. And, uh, you know, since 2008, I've been walking with Jesus. You know, there's nothing like it. No more pain in Jesus' name. I'm just true freedom. And I just pray that for everyone here. You know, I just pray that God would just bless you guys with that. And, you know, if you guys want to experience that, if you guys want anything to do with, you know, God's love, and, and you know, because God loves you guys so much, and He wants freedom for everyone. And, um, you know, um, he, he says, come as you are. He doesn't judge you. He doesn't condemn you. He loves you. You know what I'm saying? And no matter where you're at in life, you know, nothing is too big for God to, to help you out with. No addiction, no nothing. None of that is too big for God to move on because he's, you know, God is the creator of all and he loves you so much. And uh, yeah, I just pray freedom for everyone here right now. I just, it's just, yeah, just pray God would do a work in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Another track. This song is called Jesus is Alive. Oh, it definitely feels a lot better. Yeah. Okay, on a scale of one to ten, what was it? What's it at now? It was like a seven. 
and it's like it's, a two now. Uh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> right now, brother. Yes, Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Yes. be healed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord, thank you. You love us so much. Yes. Yes. No more pain. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Father. My name is Dave. I was feeling like you, my yeah, I know. I was feeling the heat in your hands too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Check it. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. 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 What about you? The truth is being revealed. Shoulders. Shoulders. Yes. 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 That's been defeated. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Let's keep hitting it. Jesus' name. All pain go right now. He's alive. All pain, get out. Jesus name. I won't die in terrible life. Jesus is guaranteed. All pain, get out. Show us the loose. Jesus, real. Check him out. Lord, you're my hero. Holy Spirit, come. We invite you here. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for one of us. The shoulders be healed right now. In Jesus' name. All pain, get out. Yes. In Jesus' name. In the new covenant. What do you believe? And who will save this free? It's free indeed. It's communion. A holy union. Fill us with your fire. Lord, consume us. And being you. It's God. This is a lie. I walk in the light as he is in the light. Yeah, our king is holy. We fight the good fight. The truth is being revealed. His glory shines bright. Death has been defeated. Jesus is a lie. I'm free from my sin. He took away my debt. What you did on the cross, Jesus will never forget. I've been baptized, the old me is dead. I walk in the light, faith in every step. Your holy word is a lamp to my feet, and I believe in every word in the scriptures that I read. In your kingdom is power, we're not about talk. But if I talk it, I'ma walk it. Bring good news to the lost. Yay! Bringing good news. Jesus is good news, my brother. God bless you. If anybody wants to get prayer, come on down. Anybody needs a healing, be encouraged. It's all love. <laughs> Shoulders good? Yeah. I mean, literally yesterday she was like, don't touch me. And now she's on her knees. Testimony. Amen. My battery's out. Praise the Lord. Horseshoe ligament? Yeah. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name, for a brand new horseshoe ligament. You need to be healed right now. All pain go, all pressure go. Just fill them with energy, too, right now, in Jesus' name. Check it, see if there's any difference. In I feel kind of tingly. Felt tingly? <laughs> Take it off, see. It's hard to tell. Because this has keep, been keeping a brace, so, but yeah. I'll check it out. I'll take this off in a second, so. Okay, so you're right, tingling, though. Yeah. God cool. bless you, man. up her foot and Jesus just healed her so that was just amazing just yeah she was really happy and blessed so Lord Father we just praise you and thank you God everyone who watches this video we just pray first they'll feel your presence right now like your presence will come upon them God and I pray God that you just bless them God that you just anoint them God to go out to heal the sick to prophesy, to just be Jesus to the world around them, God. I pray that this video would impart a raw passion just to see you, God, and see you move, God. And, and I just thank you that we're all growing in this stuff. You're amazing. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen.